Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to read the book If You Ever Want to Bring a Piano to the Beach, Don't. I love this series of books. They're so fun and silly. I wonder what's going to happen in our book. All right, so before we get started, um, I'm going to tell you a couple things. I am providing aided language input using the SnapCore First poster. Um, these are available if you contact your Toby Dynavox um, consultant. Um, they will get you a poster. Um, so, but these are fun. I like to get these around the house, put them down on the floor, and play with them. Um, they're just a nice, bigger sized format of essentially a core board. So it's a nice way to access the vocabulary. Um, so this is the book that we're going to be reading. The words that are repeated the most throughout it are you and not that I'll be providing aided language input for. And while we are reading our book today, I want you guys to think about what's happening in our story. So our character clues in our story, um, kind of the things that we see, what's in our story, and where our story takes place. So the different places that are in our story. Okay, so if we look at our cover, we can answer some of those questions and start to think about what's going to happen in our story. So we see a little girl, that's probably our who, our character, and we can find people under our description. So little girl, what we see, I see a piano. Again, I'm gonna go to my word list and I can find my instruments and piano. And then where our story is, I think that I could go to word list again and find places and we can find the beach. Plus it tells us that in the title as well, doesn't it? All right, so let's get started and go read our book. If you, ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. Here's the beach. Oh, look, the little girl's playing with the piano and her brother and sister are dancing to her music. Here's our title again. If you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. I wonder why would this be a bad idea to bring a piano? What do you guys think? If your mom says to get ready to play at the beach, she means with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel. She is not talking about the piano. Mm -mm. If you roll out the piano anyway, she will tell you you'd better not lose it. You will tell her that it's okay. You will hold on tight to your piano and keep it neat and clean at the beach. And you will even promise to push it to the beach yourself. Cross your heart. Okay, guys, let's think about this. Neat and clean at the beach? Beach ha Beaches have lots of sand. I don't think that she's thinking this through all the way. And then that she's going to push it all the way to the beach. Look at that girl. She's so little. She's too little for that big piano. Mmm. I wonder what's going to happen. But on the way, your arms will get heavy. Mm-hmm. Then your legs will get draggy. So you will find the perfect way to move the piano along. Uh-oh. I think there's going to be a problem. She's riding the piano and her mom is having to pull it. I don't think this is going to end well for her. When you 
feel rested, you will push again. Look at her face. I don't think that it's whenever she was rested. I think that her mom was telling her she had to push it. Once you are at the beach, you will need to make sure the piano still works, right? We have to play it to find out if it works. Finally, you will stop for a lunch break. The seagulls will want to share your egg and cheese sandwich. Hmm. Would you guys let the seagulls eat with you? Ah! Oh, she does not like this at all. I would not like having birds eat my lunch. Mm-mm. This, you know, is not good for the piano, but you'll know just what to do. Bath time. Hmm. Are we supposed to put our pianos in the ocean or in water? I don't think so. You will splish. You'll splash. The piano will bob up and down and up and down, then up and away. <gasps> this is not good, guys. Look, it is going out into the ocean and out of reach. Oh no, this is not good at all. By now, of course, you will wish that you had played with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel at the beach instead of the piano. By now, you will wish that you had played with your baby sister instead of the piano. You will be so mad, you will want to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Hmm. Borrow your brother's fishing line and cast it far, far out to catch your drifting piano. Hmm. Do you guys think this is a good idea? Will it work? Then you will reel the line and you might get your piano back. Or you might get, she got a seashell. A boat, or a frisbee, or a shovel. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. Mm -mm. You might lose it. But you never know what you might find. Remember that seashell? So even though she doesn't have her piano, she still feels happy because she likes her new seashell. And there is the piano drifting far, far, far out into the ocean. The end. Well, thank you for reading with me. And do you remember how I said that we wanted to think about who our characters were, that family and the little girl, where they were at the beach, right? And what was in our story? It was a piano. Go to your instruments and you can find piano. So now in the link below this video, you'll see a link to this document. 
And I want you guys to work on some of your language and writing and we can describe our piano, okay? So let's think about just our piano right now. So we already said that it's a type of instrument, right? So we can go to our instruments and say it's an instrument. We can say that we have another verb and that it's something that we can play on, right? And then we can go to some of our describing words and we can talk about how it's big, maybe the color is brown, anything that you want to talk about the piano. If you know somebody who plays a piano, where we can find a piano, okay? So just fill in those little circles about the piano. Thank you for reading this book with me today. I hope that you had as much fun as I did. Um, please comment, subscribe, and like below. Thanks.